Hello there. So there's been another explosive incident inside Russia. What a coincidence. Well, that'll upset Putin's breakfast. Yesterday I mentioned that a fire had started overnight at an oil facility in the Bryansk area of Russia, but I wasn't quite correct, because it transpires there were actually two separate fires, one in a civilian depot and another in a military oil storage area, with The Guardian saying... Russian state media said the first fire occurred at a civilian facility in Bryansk holding 10,000 tonnes of fuel, followed by a second fire at a military fuel depot holding 5,000 tonnes. A pattern really is emerging, isn't it? On top of this, President Putin of Russia has tasked his investigative committee, a sort of Russian FBI, to look into reports of SAS operations in Ukraine. More police to look into things, and more soldiers to guard things. And all of this puts extra strain on Russian resources, and also puts more doubt into the minds of Russian soldiers and civilians alike. And burning off thousands of tonnes of oil reserves will definitely put extra pressure on Russian army supply chains. You know, the all-important logistics, logistics, logistics bit. This will help give Zelensky's troops a breather to organise, as well as get the heavy armaments provided by the West into position. But it's not just Ukraine that is being supplied with state-of-the-art armaments. The UK announced yesterday that we will help provide cutting-edge missile systems to Poland to support its future short-range air defence system called Nehru. This is a collaboration to deliver the Common Anti-Air Modular Missile, or CAM. According to the UK Ministry of Defence, flying at supersonic speeds, CAM missiles can destroy modern air threats including stealth aircraft and high-speed missiles. Each CAM family missile is equipped with an advanced active radar seeker that can see even the smallest, fastest and stealthiest targets through the worst weather and the heaviest electronic jamming. They are capable of hitting a tennis ball sized object travelling at several times the speed of sound. The UK has already deployed the British Army CAM based missile system Sky Sabre to Poland to help protect their airspace, which goes to show that Poland is worried about Russian advances towards them. The MOD goes on to say, CAM is the latest generation of air defence missile used by both the British Army and the Royal Navy and made in Bolton with MBDA UK based in Stevenage and employing 4,000 people across the country. And just to put this into context, if NATO had been relentlessly pushing east, over the last decade, as some claim, we would have signed these sorts of deals years ago. Instead, what we did was cut back on all areas of defence spending until very recently as the Russian threat emerged. Yes, our armies, navies and air forces were getting smaller. We know that. We've seen it. Completely at odds with the false claims by some that we were all along preparing for war and pushing east. These deals and the explosion in military spending we're seeing right now are occurring as a direct result of Putin's aggression. But sadly, there are some who've taken in the Putin propaganda hook, line, sinker, boat and jetty. The sort that say, as of battalion, as if it explains everything. Well, my response to that is, Wagner Group. And then these people say, Come on, look at the big picture. And I have. Putin is out to reorganise the geopolitics of Europe to suit his own agenda. That's it. <laughs>